Hey there everyone, welcome back to 5 Minute Horror Stories. Tonight I'm going to tell you a little story about the Night Duty Room. For those of you that never heard about this, this is a legend that circulates around Japan. Um, and it refers to a particular room in a school that a teacher is not supposed to enter when they're on night duty. Night duty is basically where the teacher has to patrol the school, make sure it's not vandalized, things like that. And there's actually a version that, um, you know, is related to hospitals as well. But tonight I'll be telling the one related to schools. Now, whenever a young new teacher goes to a school that has a night duty rule instead of a security guard, usually the seniors will tell that one teacher about a particular room in the school which they're not supposed to enter no matter what they hear. Right, no matter what happens, they're not supposed to enter that room at night. So, this young teacher, right, he he rocks up at school and eventually he gets selected for night duty. His senior tells him about this room next to the science lab, which he's not supposed to enter no matter what he hears. Now, of course, the name of school and everything has been omitted from this tale, but... Um, the experience that you're about to hear comes directly from that teacher. See, when he was on night duty and started patrolling, he walked past that room and heard a clattering sound like something had fallen in the room, after which he heard a muffled cry coming from inside. So he walks over to the room, opens it up, and, you know, checks inside. He said that as soon as he walked inside the room, he felt overcome by the sense of dizziness and vertigo. He, his body seemed to fall in slow motion as he slumped against the wall. And he reached for his phone to try and dial for help, but his whole body wouldn't respond to him. Everything, every action was slowed down. It was like he was doing it underwater, you know. His fingers moved over the keypad, but they dialed. For help so slowly like even putting in the three emergency numbers took forever and then when he hit the call button finally all he heard was like a dial tone going endlessly like the call was going through but time would not let it through and he said that in that room he felt people breathing on his neck like this warm breath just going on his skin he couldn't see anybody but he felt it there. He said he felt cold fingers running over his feet, his thighs. He could feel it through his clothes. You know, he felt the word he used was violated. He felt absolutely violated in that room. And he could only think of that endless dialing tone and hope that, you know, the call would eventually go through. He didn't know how long he was in there. To him, it said it felt like years. But eventually, the door of the room slammed open and, and he felt himself start, start awake, you know, almost like he'd woken from a bad dream. And one of the senior teachers, you know, reached in and pulled him out of the room. And time seemed to go back to normal. The teacher was checking if he was all right, you know. And that from that point on, he said he believed in the legend of the night duty room. He said, you know, he started to believe the stories where if you stayed in that room and no one found you, morning came that would probably be the end end of your existence no one really knows what happens if you stay till morning I mean I doubt there's any survivors but for him he's now a believer and ladies and gents if you work in a school where there's night duty I hope I hope to God that you don't go inside that room if you have one okay thank you for listening to this short Five minute horror story there'll be more coming for spooktober so don't forget to like share and subscribe and of course you can drop a tip to keep the stories running super thanks or join as a channel member i'll see you all on the next one